character's name is Gerald, but I'm basically just playing my jaded self. That's what a lot of people have told me. They're just kind of playing themselves, which is great casting. So. Yeah, I, mean, <laughs> I, I, I don't really have to do too much acting. Beautiful. I'm just being myself. You're just being your, your darling self. Yeah. And you're the one in the mask. I'm the one. I'm one of the people in the mask. Mike was in the mask you know, a few times, and I think um, I was off doing other projects. So uh, he, other people have been in the mask, but for the majority of the film, yeah, I'm the guy in the mask. Nice, yeah. nice. And Doctor Knapp. Yes. Uh, <laughs> what is your real name? Uh, Lawrence, or actually, uh, it's Larry, but it's only uh, the only two people who call me Lawrence are my. My mother and my wife when she's pissed off at me. Delightful. <laughs> Delightful. Are you Dr. Knapp in the film? I am. Okay. Uh, and it really is, in many ways, just an amplified version of myself. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I channeled <laughs> a lot of my frustration in the classroom. Yeah, it was great. I mean, just turn in what I ask for. A ten yeah. minute film. Beginning, middle, end. That's not enough. Well, that's not enough when you go ahead and shoot something on your own, an independent film, fine. Well, but for now, this is an assignment, a 10-minute basic assignment to let me know that you understand the principles. Oh, but I already understand the principles. Of film aesthetics and production, that's so, it. Right, but, I, but I, how am I going to show you that I understand what's beyond that with yes, just 10 minutes? I, I've been in, what, three of your classes? I opened up a can of whoop ass in class before, yeah. right? Not like that, but I, I could always see your frustration building with many, many a lazy ass student in class that just were not, you know, always on their phone or, you know, Facebook or just jerking around or not really paying attention. And you could see it reflecting in your eyes, you know, staring back and, like, you know, and so the day on film, but you can't, in reality, you really can't, you know, go off on them like you, you, you fantasize in your head. But so the day in, the day in question where we did the film, this guy really got to play with the whole idea of just telling a student what he thinks of them. And there was really no script involved in this. This guy just went off on improv, on improv and just, you know, it, was, you know, it was great. It was hilarious. I was off camera just trying really hard not to laugh. Sorry, what did you up. say I was on Facebook the whole time? I see, there you go. <laughs> You know, there are some problems with your generation, socialization. <laughs> when it your comes generation, I am yes. not part He's of that. He's Gen X. I'm the Gen you're, X. You're Gen X. You're Gen Y. Is that right. millennials? Millennials. Millennials. I you know, I'm Gen. Um, and some of them just don't understand how to function in a social environment. So they seem to be in one mode, which mm. is, you know... On that thing. It is, uh, it is addicting. I don't think so. You don't think oh, so? Maybe it's because I'm a Gen X or whatever, but the whole Facebook thing just bugs the hell out of me. I mean, yeah. I just only recently started doing it. You did for, it. For work purposes, sure. but I don't, I don't, I don't know. Maybe I, I not, maybe I'm just an old fart who doesn't get it, but sure. You you're not into uh, social media. Well, you're not into circulating your self. I guess images so. and mm -hmm. you're you're a man of words. And I try concepts and ideas. Right. You're an obs you you like to observe. Yeah. You don't like to be observed. This is true. So how did you how did you both get involved in the project? Joel's. Yeah, I took this guy's class, his comic book film class. I met Michael Joel's. Michael Joel's and I became friends. And we started working on projects together. Cool. And uh, he's helped me out with several of my productions. And you came on board at some point. Yeah. Yeah, how'd you get on board? Uh, Doctor. He needed a, a grown up who <laughs> would misbehave for him, I guess. Or, I, you know, I've worked with Michael a lot. Sure. He's a, a true believer. Very ambitious. Yeah, he really, he really, it, it's not for anything other than an absolute love for film. I mean, he really does want to just do it mm -hmm. wherever it takes him. Yeah. And I think this film is a good reflection of that. I mean, that was a really good shoot. I don't know. Yeah. The, the, when we were working.
working about a month or so yeah. ago. What was so great? Just the chemistry between the whole cast? Everybody knows each other. Pretty We're much. comfortable. We just work yeah. and, and crank it out. And, nice. and it happens. And we were only there for a couple hours. Pretty much. Yeah, and I've been on plenty of student films that didn't amount to a goddamn thing. What am I doing in my outfit? I'm going to be sitting here for an hour and a half. Man. You're preparing and getting in character. Prepare. Dude, you're, you're, you're getting into character. character you're I'm wearing a costume. mask. I don't need to get into character. In a sense, you're putting on your shoes. You're putting on the right shoes to act the role. I chucks on, man. The but actually, I remember when I was at Boston University, I was yeah. in my master's, and I was on a film crew. And I spent four or five hours playing this corrupt police officer. Yeah, you told me about that. Yeah, and I was standing there with a lit cigarette. I went through like a couple packs of cigarettes just oh my playing goodness. this. And you don't, did, was this when you were smoking? Or did you, did you, well, you, you one way or the other. Time. I mean, literally, I mean, I just spending all day long just holding a cigarette, <laughs> you know, looking like a some cop from Ferguson. And suddenly the cinematographer gets this strange look on his face. And he looks at all of us and he says, oh, I never loaded the camera. That's right. You tell me that. Yeah, and the whole uh, day. Uh, yeah, the whole day. Doesn't that just piss you and off? And that happens way too often, but not on this shoot. Not at all. Ah, oh, that's good. <laughs> yeah, that's why I went in the studies. <laughs> Because I'm like, if this is what production is yeah. about, I, I don't have what it I'm takes. I'm starting to get there too, man. You know, production is one thing and study is another. Academic study is another. The study of film is different yeah. than the production. And the we film. don't play well with others. No. I'm it doesn't good. help. No, I don't, usually. Mm -hmm. I just, I'm, a, I'm mostly a writer, so I just stay in my little office and type on my computer. Oh, perfect. So I, I'm not extrovert. Did. You know, I really like this film in that it sort of diagnoses a problem in our culture today with instant success mm -hmm. and this idea that all you have to do, this is like Gen Y, you know, is want to be something mm -hmm. and then you become it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And whatever happened to the idea that you had to pay your dues and you had to, you have to struggle. Mm -hmm for years mm -hmm. before you have even the right mm -hmm. to call yourself something, mm -hmm. right? Just because you posted some sorry web series on <laughs> Yahoo, mm -hmm. you know, or on, on No, YouTube, let's, let's call it Yahoo, please. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, whatever, yeah. 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 Yahoo's that, on Yahoo. You, you, really have, you really don't have the, <laughs> the right to call yourself a filmmaker. Mm -hmm. I would say the only, my attitude is the only time you can call yourself something in a profession is when somebody paid you to do it. Mm. Mm. And then you can get away with it more. But yeah. until then, it's, like, it's more like a hobby. And I know that's kind of like an insult more to your generation because I remember I was listening to NPR and these people were calling in. It was about Amazon and the publishing industry and how people were insulted that their works were rejected so they were going to self-publish whether, you know, physical book or just do it online mm -hmm. and the idea is that well someone didn't consider my book worthy of publishing and it's it's I'm already a writer and, and they just don't understand that and I felt like calling in and saying no these people actually can filter mm -hmm. out what's sure. worth publishing and since I once worked for a publishing company I used to have to go through the slush pile Trust me, 98% of it is shit. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. just because you have this burning desire to be a writer does not mean, or a filmmaker, mm -hmm. or a basket weaver, or whatever, it does not mean that you necessarily become one. Mm -hmm. I think the problem with that is that everyone these days is told that they're special. Yeah, mm -hmm. The moment they're, bo they're born, and the moment everyone you know is told that they're they're special, they're a unique snowflake, and that they will they will become something great in this world. And the, the fact is that that's not always going to be the case. And as you're going on, and, and, and with you know the character in this film, mm -hmm. Devin, who's uh, the, the, I can't remember the character's name, um, but but he's the, the director, right? The idea is that he thinks you know he's I, I make this one student film, and I will become. You know Steven Spielberg or whatever, sure. and it's just it. Everyone 
thinks that they are going to become the next great thing by simply like you're, you're saying, and it, it takes work. And it takes you know sacrifice, and it takes loss and defeat. Yeah. You know, you really have to be broken and humiliated. Which is exactly what you do to him in the film. Yeah, you, it's, you it just felt good. bring him down to the level of just you know, what the hell is wrong with you? Yeah. You know, and it's just it's yeah. It's uh, great. Your, your generation lacks um, a healthy appreciation and understanding of masochism and as a sexual. as a character builder. Um, that you really have to take a lot of. Before you can really <laughs> call yourself an adult.